And then the guy running the clock out the game fumbles. I was like, you've got to be shitting me. And they tied it. I was like, you've got to be fucking shitting me. The Rams are going to be the new Falcons meme. Fuck. <laughs> Welcome to the Chip and Cern Show, the podcast about everything and nothing at the same time. They were possibly separated at birth, only to be rejoined to create the sweet sounds that will caress your deepest cochlea. The show is real, random, rant-filled, and ruthless. Please be warned that the show may hurt your feelings, offend your grandma, and even kick your dead dog in the balls. So get ready, and let's get this shit started. This shit has started. I'm Chip. I'm Cern. And you are listening to the Chip and Cern Show. Yes, once again. Or potentially for the very first time. I don't. <laughs> However that happens, let us know. I think uh, didn't Just our know. ratings go up in like Belarus or something? I think I Dude, saw. Dude, we're <laughs> huge. We've dropped a few slots. We've dropped the top 50 in Zimbabwe in comedy <laughs> podcasts. <laughs> we so. were ranked 26 in one of those countries. I can't remember where it was. It was I think it was a South American country, so I can't remember which one. Uh, Uruguay or something. Yeah, I'm but like gave just, me a chuckle. Like, ooh, 26. All right. <laughs> moving on up. Watch out. Watch out. What other what other countries are we taking over next? <laughs> well, you know it was taking over my TV this whole weekend. NFL fo- playoff football. Oh, it was I think it was probably one of the best weekends of I having not watched but a handful of snaps. And I I'm not being this isn't for the show. Cerny probably knows in my heart of hearts that I'm being as true as I can. I probably before this weekend have seen maybe a dozen snaps. Yeah. Total. yeah you're not in the, uh, you're in the low teens. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely, I'm definitely. Yeah. But this weekend I caught a lot of football, probably, probably a complete game's worth. If you piece together all the different quarters that I was watching, mostly of the Rams bucks game. Oh, so I started do we want off- to start there or do we want to start at the, at the, well, uh, we'll start on Saturday. Start that on was Saturday. actually my bro- brother's birthday. Oh. So, so the we, Dolphins, were they in the playoffs this year? No. no they missed it. No. <laughs> they no, just missed no. it. So just he it. was he was in, you know, his rare his 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 actually not rare form. His, yeah. his general his, his form. <laughs> his form. Um so we had so we went over to my parents' house. We were going you know, for my brother's birthday. My dad had the the Bengals Titans game on. That was the first game of the weekend. Mm-hmm. And we were watching that. I think he's a little salty, salty. Mm. Cause oh, you're your old man. Cause the Raiders still no. Oh well, yeah. He's ah, no, he's not salty. Anymore. Okay. He's, I don't, he didn't, he, he's told me he didn't expect him to go too far because of their ineptitude. According <laughs> quote, ineptitude. <laughs> <laughs> they had all those emails situation with Gruden or whatever. So yeah. That's not helping the morale of the team. And then they had uh, the guy, uh, Henry Ruggs, you know, he, the guy who, Got drunk and then crashed his car, going like 126 and killed that lady. Oh yeah! Oh my god! Then they had their cornerback a little bit later threaten somebody on social media with a gun, tell her she was going to kill her. And then it was like their other cornerback got a Dewey. Jesus! So I made a joke during the Raiders Bengals game. I said, "If the Raiders win this, I had the booze. They're not going to have a team to fill next week." <laughs> <laughs> No, cancel all the celebratory champagne. We can't do it. Martin we gotta Nelly's. be sober. It's gotta be Martinelli's, everybody. And sparkling waters and Martinelli's is what's coming down the pipe for for the Raiders there. But the Bengals but, uh Titans game was good. It was good. It, it was good. My brother's really this is where he's salty because so Joe Burrow is the quarterback for the Bengals, and he was drafted two years ago. And that was the same year that they drafted the Dolphins drafted Tua. They're quarterback so but he's the holding Bengals had, grudges the Bengals, on based on draft picks now well because because so i said because my brother is a little delusional when he comes <laughs> a to little sports, especially dolphins and he was saying um Tua was the best quarterback in 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 the game in the league. He, yeah he said yeah and i said i think he wasn't the best quarterback in the draft <laughs> and he said who's better i said joe burrow's better and I said Justin Herbert, who's the Chargers quarterback. Mm. And that's who the Dolphins had to pick before the Chargers. And they picked Tua, and then the Chargers picked Herbert. Oh. So all year he's been saying, no, no, not even close. Now, Joe Burrow was picked number one overall, so Dolphins never had a shot to get him. But yeah. 
So, so clearly he keeps, he's not the best if, but your brother, like Trump, refuses he, to accept facts. that come He, he totes the party line. That's what he does. He just holds strong. That's enraging. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, I couldn't deal with that. I don't he know how telling I handle me all, that. All, all game. Joe bro sucks. I'm like, he doesn't suck. Oh my God. <laughs> Just so sacked asinine. nine times. I was like, it's not his fucking fault. He got sacked nine times. I was lying block somebody. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can we get an O line one time? Come through the stop. So that game was that game um, a gunsling and shootout to the end as well? No, it was pretty cl- It was a, a low scoring event. Okay. And it came out to a couple of picks and then a field goal to, to win it by the. Uh, oh, right. By the Bengals. Right. Okay. I think I caught the actual field goal or I saw, saw the replay on there. And then that rolled into Saturday night's game, which is not now that I'm salty about this. <sighs> Niners V Green Bay, Green Bay Packers. Yeah. And old discount double check horse dewormer Rogers. Yes. So that was negative <laughs> 10 or real something. feel or some shit like that. So oh! I think it's negative. Uh, yeah, it was, it was like negative eight and it was, it was, I mean, the Packers came down, scored a touchdown opening drive. I was like, Oh, uh, here wait. we go. Here we go. And then that was it. <laughs> that was the offense went on hiatus sabbatical Bullside. after that one. And then the, they blocked a field goal. They got the, you know, the Packers oh. got their field goal blocked. Uh, I think it was the end of the half. Yes. And then the punt, the punt block quick. Six was that was the end of the game. I felt like the momentum like, oh, shift because ah, they had. I was like, uh, okay, well, the Niners aren't really doing anything, so punt it here. It's kind of this game's clocking down. Yeah, and then oh, fuck. I, when they blocked it, I was like, you got to be shitting me. And he was like on the he's kicking it from like what the three or something. Yeah, I mean they were back just against he was right zone. there. His fucking ass was hanging over the. The end, zone. the end zone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. This, oh. This and that happened actually. at um. How many? How 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 much long was left in that game when that block happened? Like between four and six minutes. I'm not quite yeah, sure. Yeah, it wasn't. It, it wasn't, wasn't a total yeah. huge amount of time. Um. And that tied the game, and then oh. Packers couldn't do anything, and then the Niners came down and kicked a field goal to win. I was like, oh. As the fucking as it ended. Oh, so as a Ram fan, uh, Chipper's inform me. We have at least have one listener that's a Ram fan. Yeah, yeah, we do. Checking person, in always. This person's Horns a up. hero. This person's a hero. He's part of the Ramley, Cerny. He's, He's part, part, part of the Ramley. Ramley. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> he was, I was, uh, I was a little salty after that game. And I will say our comrades, Joe and Dana in the group chat, because the Niners were getting fucking punked the whole game, more or less, for three quarters of the game. Nary a peep in not the GC. Text. Nary, no. not one text, not any. Where's Dana's fucking playful banter now? Where's Joe's, oh, ho, hum, oh, you know, uh, it was a his, poorly uh, played game on both sides. His, his, his meme generator that he likes to <laughs> throw in. <laughs> Joe, he sometimes he'll curate, a, he'll curate memes from Facebook or other groups that he's in and, and procure them in the, um, in the chat, which I do enjoy those all the time. None of this was happening. Radio silence. So we had to fire up the old, uh, the old one to one SMS message. Yeah, we were, we're going on. We're side, gonna the old sidebar. Sidebar is offline. <laughs> we're taking this offline. <laughs> Which is good. But um, after, I'm telling you, I didn't feel very good after the Niners had that win. How were you feeling going into Sunday playing against the reigning Super Bowl? champs now, and Tom now, Brady. So now I'm my nerves are, are they're they're peaked. <laughs> you were peaking. <laughs> they're peaking. Not that now I think we're gonna find a whole new level of peak this next oh, weekend. But <laughs> I have no doubt, Cerny. I have no <laughs> doubt. They're peaked. Because it's like great. If the Rams choke this game, oh then then it's like Sophie's choice. Uh, which team I want to lose. Now I, I will never vote for I will never root for the Niners, so I'd have to be would have yeah, to be for pulling for the box, but oh mercy, God, it was sickening. <sighs> mercy, yeah, and and then the was there there was an earlier no were the Rams the first game on Sunday? Yeah, they were the first game. Okay, 
So I mean, they 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 came, came out. out rolling. It was twenty-seven to three. I was like, oh, this game's in the bag, baby. <laughs> I thought and the then, same thing, but I refrained from texting you that exact statement because I didn't want to put anything out in the ether that could change the outcome. Yeah, yeah. And then the 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 fumble the the dropsies the fumblesies or whatever oh. you want to call them. Oh, they fumbled, and then they, and then when they the. They, they sacked Brady and stripped him. They got the balls. Yes. And they snapped it over Stafford's head. I was oh. like, fuck. And then the guy running the clock and out the game fumbles. I was like, you've got to be oh, shitting me. They God. tied it. I was like, you've got to be fucking shitting me. The Rams are going to be the new Falcons. The Falcons. Fuck. <laughs> they're going to basically, they're going to be the meme of 2022 and beyond. Yeah. Cause and it's beyond. not going to. Yeah. It still carries over. They yeah. still do 28 to three all the time. Fuck. But then. Cooper Cup came up big with the big bomb, the Stafford. I was like, oh. Back-to-back, huge passes, like a 20 or 30-yarder and then a another 20 or 30-yarder. Like yeah, after. it was more than that. Yeah, like a 50-yarder. I saw that, and I was at the park with my kids, and I'm just like, fuck yes! Oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> They're like, what? I was sweating. I sent a picture in the, oh, in the group set because I was actually sweating. Now, it wasn't because I was, like, sitting there still sweating. I was, like, jumping around, and, you know, the whole game. I was, like, Active. you know. You're an active yeah. participant, active yes. observer. Fumbled it. I was jumping around. Oh. You know, this. I was. I don't think I actually. I think like my butt would sit on the seat first, like maybe Two hover seconds. for a second, and then I'd be jumping up and down. And I, at one point, because I felt comfortable enough with the score, because it was twenty-seven, and then it was maybe ten, or they they had another six after that. I was like, oh yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, let me just watch this game. There's another quarter and a half left, so I bust out my portable tv aka the ipad <laughs> that I, yeah the only thing i use that thing for is to watch fucking streaming <laughs> sports on basically which is fine because i guess i can't have my own 70 inch tv that i have well actually no, 75 not. inch i forgot i got a bigger <laughs> oh one. man you upgraded <laughs> fuck um but yeah and then it just went as soon as um, it started going Paw Patrol sound, got an extra five inches <laughs> yeah yeah they uh the Paw patrol is standing tall in the living room 24 7 it seems like as soon as it tar- started to turn sour, I had to get off of this. I'm like, I think I, I hope I didn't change the outcome of this by, by watching <laughs> it, but turned it off. Sure oh, thing. man. It was, whew, that was oh. wild. Yeah. And then, um, and then there, the Chiefs. games were not even over. No, we had the Bills Chiefs. And that was a decent game. It was kind of back and forth in those last two minutes. Guns. Holy shit. I, you know, I was talking to my dad during the game when, so when the Bills went up with 13 seconds. They were they were celebrating and going around the shaking hands and shit. I'm like, whoa, 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 hold the fucking phone it's, here. I mean, it should have been over. I, when they kicked it deep, I was like, oh, okay. I mean, Tony Romo said that, you know they should have you know played it short so they caused a, a run back to kill some time. Oh, so they kicked it outside the. They yeah, should have kicked, kicked it, it like back, to the ten or the fifteen the, or something. Yeah. Yeah, they bombed to the back of the end zone and and then you know from there. And then the defense, like calling down, I was like, what kind of defense are they playing? Because they were playing like, you know, four guys up front and everyone else was playing like 20 yards back. I was like, they're not going for the home run. They're trying to get in field goal range. What the hell are they doing? And then sure as shit. It just it baffles me. So I don't know if uh, obviously you've don't you probably only have 15 snaps on your belt this year, but yeah. Travis Kelsey is their tight end for the Chiefs. Mm-hmm. He's always open. Every play. Uh, I swear to God, it's he like always has a, he has hands up like, yeah, yo, game, I'm game right on here. the line and he's open game on the line. He goes to that's like his go to guy. Yeah. And it's like he's open. I'm like, how the fuck is this guy always open? And he's a tight end. So he's not like he's small. He's yeah. The biggest motherfucker <laughs> running downfield. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, and that shit. game ended in a oh, blaze. Right. So in the last uh, two minutes, there was 25 points scored or something like that. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was like three or four lead changes, whatever it was, and then uh, tied it up. And then they went to overtime. And the Chiefs drove the field and they just shoved scored it right the down. touchdown. And I like the uh, so they have these these thing now. They changed the overtime rules. The, the Bills should have had a chance to answer. I was like, okay, but I mean, the rules are the rules because it's, it's not fair. I was like, well, how about you play some fucking defense? You had 13 seconds to stop them from going 50 yards. Couldn't do that. I know the time to like. <laughs> pull out all the stops and really buckle down on the D you kind of missed the boat. Yeah. Big time. You had a shot. You had a shot that went. Yeah. <laughs> it was all don't, don't let him go 50 yards in 13 seconds. Shit. 
And, you know, hey, you got to call it a little better on the heads and tails, eh? Yeah. Tails never fails. I don't know. Actually, I don't know what it was. I don't know what they did either. (laughs) (laughs) But, yeah. Uh, Yeah, the Chiefs. uh, Okay. So, this week and now, when is... Now, now there was a developing story that was breaking around after the 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 Rams game finished up. Mm-hmm. So late Sunday, CERN text, and he told me he said Joe's trying to trying to come over, watch the, come over and watch the game. First, first reaction: No, no, I can't have you guys over here. I can't have, I can't be sleeping with the enemy here. There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way. You're going to my house, eating my fucking food, oh. cheering on the enemy. I can't do it. I can't allow it. I can't and allow it. I mean, if there was any referees in the house, it sounded like the last time Joe showed up, there, there would have been about like nine taunting flags going on between. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's unsportsmanlike conduct. Unsportsmanlike was, conduct. So I think it's like you get two unsportsmanlike conducts in a normal football game and you're tossed. You'd have been tossed a long time ago. Okay. So Joe <laughs> would have been ejected. Now, that's a good idea. <clears throat> I'm gonna, I might get a flag. and be like, you get two flags, Joe. I like it. Pack your shit. <laughs> get the fuck out of here see ya yeah so i was saying no but he started wearing on me you know he's like oh you know then and then his wife was texting my wife so hey what are we oh, bringing the, on and it was like back channeling you got back channeled yeah, it sounds like yeah oh, and then fuck. so then you know uh robin's like I'll, I'll leave it up to you and i was like i got you know we got a soft spot for joe he's so, hard to say no to he's kind of like a, a big grizzly bear he is i was like okay yeah that doesn't joe. kill you no the joe you can, you, you, all right, you know, we'll, I'll make an exception. He's going to get some, but, some suds and some wings going. Or some uh, I think I'll do some, I'm going to make some tacos. Ooh, it's a nice. I'll make some tacos. He liked the tacos I made last time. I was, you, you know, that was the request too. That was the thing. Make a request. <gasps> what? <laughs> hey, sir, I'm going to, I want to come over on Sunday. I'm also going to be fairly hungry. So can we get I really tacos enjoyed those tacos going? made last time. Can you whip them up again? And could could Robin maybe like whip up some guac? <laughs> I've been I've been on this big avocado kick lately. And margaritas? Are you hosting just everything? <laughs> uh, what what time that. is this game, Cerny? Three thirty. Three thirty on Sunday. Yeah, oh, you know what? Christ. Personally, I hate when it's the late game like that because it's just it's going to be on my oh. mind. All day. It's it. You you won't be able to escape the thought of the game. It's know, it's it's implanted. No, Joe's coming over. Oh, it's like. Oh, what God. time do you think he's gonna try to get himself over there? I think, I think his wife has said they'll be over around three o'clock. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I was like, okay. Okay. That's fine. I thought he was gonna do like. Oh, we'll just come for. We'll brunch. Just, yeah, we'll just swing by. We'll be there I'll, come I'll come over with coffee and donuts in the morning and we'll just hang out. <laughs> yeah. It just goes with donut holes, though. <laughs> I bet Joe could put down how many donut holes? Oh, Two man. dozen, probably. Easy. Easy. I, I, he I just smash know. them all into a giant baseball and just take a big, <laughs> take a big a, chaw like, out like, of it. Like an apple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a deep fried apple. Oh, dough shit. apple bite. So the AFC is in the, in the morning and the NFC is in the evening. And then the winners. So will... it does. So it did help out the Rams in the sense that a home game because it's a home game because they're the higher seed. So it goes back to Los Angeles and they don't have to go to Green Bay where it was negative eight. And this is good because, you know, go Hawks, the Hawks and the Rams working in unison to secure the home field advantage. Oh, that's right. The Hawks yeah. did beat the Cardinals. They did the favor. <clears throat> Doing favors where we can. Whew. I can already, Cerny, I'm sensing you're, you already have an elevated heart rate. Your blood pressure is probably a couple points higher. It's a good thing, it's a good thing my, my uh, yearly healthy screening for my insurance isn't this week. It'd be like, <laughs> Dude, what's going on? <laughs> you, you have, based on your blood pressure numbers, you must have three arteries completely clogged. <laughs> <laughs> Like no, Either they're just a big you, game this weekend. Or we might have to test you for cocaine because your your heart rate is <laughs> off through the roof. You're through the roof, sir. Okay, so we got that, and then that's at SoFi Stadium. It is. And previously, any time the Niners and the Rams would would play, you and Dana would have, for as long as I can remember, the last couple of years, a nice friendly beer wager on the just the win. Whoever won, so 
Owing a six pack. Owes a six pack. Now, every time I feel like you've done this, it has not turned out in your favor, and you're out. You know, Dana's Dana's uh, he's drinking fucking Heinekens. I know. First of all, I know. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I have never met anyone that enjoys Heineken just. No, no. I it's don't like know. it's like the beer you drink when there's no other beer available. <clears throat> it's, I, I, yeah, I've never been to someone's house where they're like, "Hey, I got a fridge full of Heinekens. You want one?" It's, oh yes, please. The he- Heineken <laughs> no. beer seems like the one that if you're not into booze or beer, that you get it because you're you're influenced by their advertising strategy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the, the rookie drinkers. Yeah. Um. Also, we have that extremely poor last time drinking Heinekens. Which was probably oh, you were twenty one. Ten, fourteen years ago. Mm-hmm. Where me and you uh maybe even twenty. <sighs> we got an eighteen rack of Heineken long necks. Two packs of black and milds. Black and milds, that's right. And then so we were smoking those cigars. And drinking we killed the 18, 18 pack, sitting outside in San Francisco at night, <laughs> like a couple of fucking hobos, but just, in, <laughs> just in our back walkway yeah, the alley, area. alley cast. The alley, those, yeah. yeah. We were like in the alley. <laughs> People would have thought we were homeless, but we just were behind a gate. Essentially. That was the yeah. only thing separating us from <laughs> homelessness. We're behind a fence. <laughs> just chiefing on cigars and, Drinking Heineken. Sitting on the ground. Remember, we were sitting on the we're ground. We're sitting on the ground. Who fucking knows what we were thinking? I don't like, know. I, I think back, I'm like, what? I can't like, what were we what doing? doing? Anyway, I think we were just so eager to get sideways. Yeah, that's probably that was it. about it. And we then, weren't even going nowhere. We're no, just getting we're, just, sideways. <laughs> we're just getting sideways because what else do you do when you're 20? And then that's when we, um, we, we were obviously every time we were drinking, we would try to watch the Big Lebowski or something. And my wife made yeah, us the, those white the, Russians, the, remember? The, yes, yes. With the uh, half and oh, half. Oh. And I think that, <laughs> I mean, I say that's what that's what turned the whole evening south. But I was, think we were well on our way to a poor, poor <laughs> evening for us regardless. <clears throat> but that was the last time I think I've had a Heineken, honestly. I, I would have to say so myself. I don't. Remember last time I met Heineken? Yeah. I yeah. couldn't tell you. You know, I actually... actually grew some, go ahead. That reminded me of a story. I don't know if I... Actually, I don't know if I told you that. Um, we were over at my in-law's house, and they pulled out Goldschlager because they had coffee. And they're like, oh, Goldschlager, you ever had this? I said, yeah, I have. <laughs> Many times. Have you ever been 20? Uh, yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They said... You want to put some in your coffee? I said, no, I'm good. I'm just going to have my coffee, right? And it's like, they're like, I mean, it's pretty good. I said, I'm not 20 years old. I, I, I'm not dancing with this devil anymore. No. <laughs> I'm not doing cinnamon schnapps. I'm not doing Oh, <laughs> oh man, I can uh, feel it. I, can you kind of feel there. it right now? Oh, I opened up oh. to smell it. I opened up to smell it. I was like, oh, yep, yep, that's it. You remember it mm. quite vividly when you smell it. It's like it. big red, right? Yeah, yeah. It but like it's big very, big. Uh, it's just schnapps, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a little, it's, it's, it's I don't know, but more viscous than like vodka. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's Plus not quite as water. Yeah, the gold. <laughs> that was the thing because Natalie was there. She's 20. Yeah. So she was like, what is this? This looks interesting. I was like, yeah, I've said that once. <laughs> I said that was your age. <laughs> and we tried to see if we could discover the gold flakes in our poop. That yeah, was or, a big or we were throwing it up. Or we were throwing it. Get a gold oh, pan. Oh. Gold. Get the metal detector out. <laughs> Let's see where we can find this. Yeah, uh, yeah, probably didn't even make it out the, the back end. It just no, right, right back, the, right right the back up. Oh, how do we get on the Heineken? Oh, Dan, you, you Dan do your bet with Dana. Bet. Now, we've been talking. We've been strategizing because I we need the Rams to win. Hashtag Ramley. Hashtag horns up. Ramley. We think to mix it up. You should not be placing this wager with Dana because it it's put the Rams and the Niners on a really sad slide for the Rams. So it, it has. So bets off. Bets off. Okay. I'll just I'll take my losses. That. I'll take my losses. <clears throat> just cut the check. Give him his. Give him his shitty Heineken beers, and he can make him whole. And then you're done. Clean your hands with this. And so, this game is at home, SoFi Stadium. I LA. see there's a big thing going on here. Like, let's flood the stadium with Niner fans. Oh, 
Okay. So they had, they had originally had like closed it off to the like checking zip codes. Yeah. I think they they opened it back up because they weren't selling the seats. Seats are going for so this guy that I work with, his his dad's a, a Ram fan and stuff. So he was gonna take his dad. He's like, Oh, maybe we'll go. Nice. And then I said, Oh, cool. And he texts me back. He's like, Nope. 800 bucks a seat for the fucking bleed nosebleeds. Whoa. I was like, whoa. So I looked it up. Damn. If you want to get down a level, like on the second level, yeah. there you go. They're mid part, two grand. Fuck. 1600, two grand. Yeah, 2200. I was like, holy shit. Yeah. And I think they're trying, you know, obviously the second, everyone's trying to flip it to make, to make oh, money, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I heard about that too. And the, the fellow Rams fan texted me. He's like, dude, tickets are 700 for nosebleeds for that game. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, the stadium is looks really cool, but I don't know. That's uh, that's a grip. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, not even the Johnson. Super Bowl. Either. I'm not Magic Johnson. I can't swing it. So. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No way. Um, okay. But... Uh, Big game this week. Big game. Big mental health game. Big game. It's, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't, I do not, uh, I feel for you, sir, in the position that you're in because. The Niners, yeah. Still. I was like, this is my and nightmare. I've, I've seen it around here. I'm sure you're seeing it as well. Everyone's walking around. Kids have Niners clothing on, and I'm just like. I know. I'll just call CPS. It's I'm child like, abuse. What? I'm like, what is this? I'm like, you know, flags. I just have a ton of flags. Just all these flags everywhere. Everyone put them up out of their car. It's like, oh, the fuck you got a flag. Enough with that. Enough with the flags. Uh, out in their house, they got flags. It's like, what's up with the flags? <laughs> Come on. What's we're obsessed with flags. Why? Why so many <laughs> flags? I don't know. I don't know. I never see any other flags around in my neighborhood, but you know, like four Niners ones popped up. No Giants. No Giants the flags. Is- they have the uh, yeah. They still all crease from the Amazon. They don't yeah. pull it up. <laughs> still has the tag on it. Yeah, just in case they lose, they can return it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's your return policy, Amazon? On <laughs> okay, big game, big game. <sighs> well, we'll be tuning in, and obviously the the oh, Cerny slides are going to be. I do remember. We remember. I I think. I possibly have asked for this. Remember when you asked, would you rather the Brent Niners lose or would you rather I did, yes. them come to Los Angeles and lose? For, and I said, I'd rather them lose. The, I want my glory. Yeah. I think I may have asked for it. <laughs> you, you did. I think the, the victory will be sweeter, but on the other side, it's like, it just took the extremes and it just, yeah, yeah. there's a huge <laughs> fissure in between. If you win, great. If you lose, it's the worst kind of way. It's the worst. Yeah. <laughs> it's the worst way to lose. So, I, I mean, I commend You're you for making that. You're going to have a high, high or a yeah. fucking low, low. It's no in between. You know, because, you know, if if uh, if the Packers would have pulled it out, um, you know, oh, the it was cold, it was snowing, oh, Jimmy G, this and that, and their excuses were just ready to come out because it was, there was too many excuses. Um, they have they haven't geared up there. They're actually they're not geared up. It's basically if you talk to a Niner fan, mm-hmm. it's in the bag. Six and zero oh, the last six times. Jimmy G is undefeated against the Rams, so therefore we're going to the Super Bowl. That is a. I've already I've already I'm already hearing it. Okay, I'm already seeing it. I'm already hearing it. I'm like okay. That's quite the that's quite the mountain to fall off of. I'll just say that. Yeah, Mount Pius. Yeah, <laughs> Mount Pompous. It's more like it. I think. Ah, <sighs> well. Hopefully you get some good night's sleep and uh maybe I'll oh. phone a friend during uh during some of this. <laughs> call Joe. Maybe we'll call Joe and see what's up. But um <clears throat> man, I the other morning uh you, you know when the kids are sleeping, especially the little one, you you just they gotta stay asleep for a certain amount of time or else no one's ready to to participate with a two-year-old at, you know, oh, yeah. 5.45 in the morning or 5 o'clock, whenever they decide to wake up. Mm-hmm. So I'm lying in bed, and I am I think I have an early run or something, so I kind of have my alarm set off early, but I hear the distinctive chirp of a low battery warning on the smoke detector. Oh, detectors. smoke detector. So I'm like, oh, fuck. And I try to first to see to power through the noise. <laughs> 
to see if I could just force myself back to sleep because I looked at the clock and it was like 4.10. Not looking to get up at 4.10, let alone to go deal with uh, smoke detector batteries. (laughs) 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 So I tried to give it the old college try, no dice. So here I'm at 4.20 in the morning in my underwear searching. First of all, how do smoke detectors throw their sound so effectively? Like, I feel like I'm, turn, I'm right underneath it, like, ready to catch it, like a, a can of corn fly ball in the outfield. And I hear the beep, and it's, like, in two rooms away. I'm like, how did this? What the fuck? Yeah, I know. I know. I, I can't figure that out, too. And it's like, and you're not, you don't have the patience at that time to <sighs> no. be playing hide and seek. No. And, you know, I'm, like, already tippy-toe, like, grabbing up. I'm just trying to unscrew it, bring it down, and get the 9 volt out as fast as I can. Also, is there any other purpose for a 9-volt beyond a smoke detector? I can't uh, think of one. <laughs> I don't know. Off the top of my head. <laughs> um, the only thing keeping in business. So I'm going, and I'm like, <coughs> I don't know what rooms have smoke detectors, like off the top of my head. One is could be in our son's room, which if it's going off in there, I don't want to have to go in there and make a, you know, that could be a whole problem. But I was trying to resolve this as quickly as possible. So the, the strategy, I just started taking everyone down. Anytime I saw one, I was just <laughs> take it gone. down, pulled the battery out, set it on the kitchen counter, kind of walk back to bed. Beep. Motherfucker. So go back and I go get another one. And they don't flash like a light or there's no. I know there should be some sort of war. I mean, do we not possess the technology for like a low battery light <laughs> that we can <laughs> have? I mean, come on. <laughs> What's going on here, people? So I took three down and the batteries were all out of them. And I'm like, Mission mission accomplished. I slid back into bed. You know, it was nice and warm. Mm. Beep. <laughs> what? Fuck. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. So I go. I'm hunting throughout the house. I'm like, is there one here? I'm going walking around in my underwear at four or something in the morning. And then I found it in the office. I'm like, okay, here's the last one that I've seen. And I'm literally, like, perched under it. And I hear it beep. And I'm like, this is the one. Is it? Take it down. Sure, I open it. Sure enough, it, it has a different battery. Take it. Put on the counter. Go back. It still was beeping. It had some phantom. Oh, the extra it was, charge. It yeah, had some extra charge. Oh, I'm that like, that kind of thing? Yeah. what the fuck? So I went and I took the battery. I just threw the battery because it. I kind of like took it out of the thing and put it up right. And yeah. then it was still somehow that maybe there was some connection. I don't know. It's a residual I, charge. I almost I think, like yeah. threw it in the fucking garbage. I was so pissed. <laughs> but then I realized that because when this happens, you end up kind of changing the batteries anyway for all of them. So they're yeah. all, so that's why they all go down at the same, around the same time frame is because you're always changing, you know, changing them out. Yeah. yeah. So you fresh, never got a fresh load. I even took the nest, that fancy nest one we have. And that requires, uh, anyway, the problem's been solved, but I, there's, we've got to do something about the smoke detector situation. I don't How do we improve yeah. on that? Uh, you know, I have smoke detector problems, but mine's different. So it mm. mines likes to just go off. Oh, like, like dust or something gets in the sensor and it goes off. Like there's smoke. Oh, I don't know how many 2 AMs get woken up and the fucking thing oh. is going off. And it's like, you know, and I, Jump out of bed and start running around. Well, first, because yeah, you think your house is on fire. On fire, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My wife, Robin's like, because now it's like it goes off. She's like, oh, and I jump up and I still, I still do the same thing. Yeah. She's like, why do you do that? I'm like, because the one time I'm gonna take it lightly, the place will be a fucking blaze. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're the only one protecting the house. Like it's what? like the spot or something because I've switched out the smoke detectors. Oh, I've done, I, I'm, this is like the third smoke detector and it still does it. Hmm. Is it, is it in the kitchen? No, like, it's, in the, it's in my master bedroom. Hmm. That's curious. Yeah. Well, at least you don't have to go far to find it if you're in no, but it's, but it's But then all the other ones start going off and it's just a pain in the fucking ass. Oh, they're, are they linked up somehow? Yeah, they're all hardwired in. Although this one, I actually... I oh, they're hardwired. The, How do you... Oh, I guess you don't run out of batteries then with the hardwire. No, you do. It's just... It gives an extra charge. I think so. It, so when one goes off, they all go off. So it wakes everybody up. Whoa. That is less than ideal. 
<laughs> when it's a false alarm, yes. <laughs> yeah, if that's a false alarm, yes. But if um, if it's if it's the real deal, that's good, I guess. I suppose. Yeah. I would probably want that as well. Oh man, so fresh fresh batteries in the smoke detector. There we go. We got football smoke detectors. SATs. Yes. They're going digital. The standardized test to college entrance exam or something? Yeah, it's, it's SAT. What are they? Uh, whatever they are. Whatever. I know. Gives you a score. It's changed through the years. I think when we took it, what was the best score you can get? Like 1600 or something? Yeah. And then. Then they're like, oh, they changed it. Now there's a writing piece and two types of tests and who knows. Now they're fully digital. Um, the millennials are taking aim now at the number two pencil to bring the number two <laughs> pencil down. So we have demanded that the uh, SATs be uh, digital. So It makes sense. I mean, why not? I mean, even the, even the uh, DMV, when you take your permit test, it's on a computer. Go down there and you, yeah. you know, push the computer. <clears throat> yeah um well i mean they're talking about it like one is this even fair is this even a fair test to like a barrier for someone to have to clear to get into college yeah exactly it's you know they may have other skills so you're sitting down and taking a test that i mean i remember I, when i took the sat i took it once but i i didn't study what did you what score did you get I can't even remember. You probably got, I think you probably would have been like in the 1100s, I would guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I was like, a, I want to say it's like a, maybe or something. Yeah. It was like a, either a high 11 or a low 12. And I didn't even look at one thing. I just showed up. Just It was just, like going through the motions. It was just like, cause I was told I had to do it. So just I just do showed it. up and did it and left. Well, it was like on a Saturday, remember? Yeah. They, I saw it was Saturday morning. I was like pissed. I was like, I don't want to spend my fucking Saturday back bullshit. at school. <laughs> Sorry, coach. I can't be a practice. I got to take the SATs. Yeah, I remember I, um, I, this, this might be a surprise to some people, but I actually surprised, I mean, I wasn't a horrible student, but I didn't do very well, very good at the, um, SATs. I, I, cause I was also trying to, um, apply through like base through sp- the sporting end of it as well. And the coach is like, oh, just score of whatever, like the minimum viable score to get in yeah. and we'll take care of the rest. And I'm like, I'll do my best. <laughs> I'll do my best to do minimum. I yes. couldn't do it. <clears throat> I, I really struggle with the standardized testing format. But like my GPA in high school was over 3.0. But I couldn't score above whatever. one thousand. I think it was 1,000 or 900 or something on the yeah, test. I think it was 900, yeah. There's always those myths like you get 500 points just for signing your name. You're like, yeah, and you're like, like no, no, you no, don't. No, you don't. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Fuck that. And I, I mean, my parents, I, they signed me up for like, uh, you know, practice exams and all this material. Like I was the opposite of what you did. I was as studied up as you could be. It felt like I, 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 I couldn't make it happen. So I, I'd be happy to see them remove the test because I do think uh, with beyond college when are you even in college what kind of standardized there's no standardized testing no because you start available. to focus in on what actually interests you you know yeah and you know filling bubbles out and making cool designs in them isn't what really interests me <laughs> i do explicitly remember i that is when skull apple came out and i had a can of skull apple with me to calm the nerves before uh my sats because i went it was on a saturday so it was like oh i'll I'll roll up in shorts with a big old fucking dip in and uh try to ace this thing (sighs) not so much but um you know and also remember it was also like um they did it i swear it was in like april you know where it was like the weather was nice and shit so it's like a saturday morning great weather and i'm like fuck gonna come back to jail Serve my time here. <laughs> I know the last place you want to go to in high school is back to fucking high school is to your <laughs> campus on the weekend, unless you're going to go fuck shit up there. I had to go sit up in the, one of the math classes, Mr. Grady's math class. Oh yeah. Looking your, around. And, uh, I'll be seeing you on in a, a one day now. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow. Fuck. God damn it. 
and they don't give you the results back, and it's this whole to do. They mail them to you or something. And yeah, yeah, some kind of weird shit. I don't know. I always it was it was too much for me. I would be curious to take it now, and and they fuck with you with on the questions. They, try, I mean, I understand. Yeah, they, there's all these gotchas. To yeah, get so you. that's where I'm pretty good at because I can I know when like I know when it's going to be a gotcha moment. So I thought I I'd like, have. I know to, what this is. They I got know what this is. I know this game. <laughs> I know how this game's played. <clears throat> yeah, well, they'll like lay the problem out and then they'll say which one is not or whatever. You know, they'll just yeah, like yeah, yeah, do the opposite of how the question reads, and you're like, what? Or at least I did, but. Anyway, I hope they do away with the with the tests in general. I don't know what other um I feel like your GPA and should be enough to to get you across. Yeah, I mean as far as I mean I don't I mean, we went to you know the state school and stuff, so yeah, that should be plenty. Yeah. That's true. I mean I wasn't gonna get into like uh you know Harvard, top tier, know. yeah, with uh nine nine seventy five score I got or whatever. <laughs> or they even had the other remember they had the other style test that you could take i think it's called A- the ACT. act i ended yeah. up taking that once uh, because i, I heard confused. that um you know i would basically oh if you score a 20 on the act that's like a thousand in the sat so it was like you could take so i ended up taking i think i took the sat one once or twice and then the act once and i got the score that i need i'm like i'm not doing this shit again i'm fucking over this <laughs> And it didn't even matter. The end of no, the day. that's what, that's when you look back. You're like, that shit didn't. Even, we got all worked up over nothing. All over nothing. Just a bunch of bullshit that we're being fed. Oh, oh man, sorry. I'm my heart rate's already elevated for this weekend. I'm already. Oh thinking about man. <clears throat> but I kind of want to do. Uh, I like your. Uh, if a three o'clock game, maybe we yeah turn into a little. Uh, have some apps, some guac tacos. I like the guac, tacos. Yeah. yeah. We'll okay. see, uh, what kind of beers we'll do you think? Um, Joe's he's just gonna bring the Coors Lights over. Oh yeah, that's his. That's his. That's his go-to. Yeah. I mean, that's his flavor. I'm not gonna. Just, we we always make fun of him for the the we swill, do. but <laughs> that's his flavor. That's fine. He sticks <clears> to it. Hey, I'll tell you straight up. If I open an ice chest and I saw a Coors Light and a Heineken, I pick Coors Light. Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. No Heineken. I'm skipping right over the Heineken. No, no. I'm not even gonna bat an eye at it. No. The, Going with those, uh, the Rockies blue? Well. <laughs> with those Rockies blue in that can? Give it here. Or ice cold, baby. <laughs> They're about as blue as... What kind of unis are the Rams going to be rock, rocking this weekend? They, got they, some, haven't, they haven't announced it yet. Oh. Are they going to do a cool alternate colorway or something, do you think? They might do... I think they've done the same unis the last two games with the blue and yellow. I like it. it has got, I like the... We were talking about this as well. It's a nice, like, vintage... That's kind of the Ram Uni it. that I love yeah. that I grew up on. I was like, oh, that's what I'm loving. <clears throat> yeah, I like it. Okay. What's uh what are all the analysts saying? It's fifty fifty. Everyone's got a fifty fifty split right now. Lord. Some picking the Niners because of the ownage and the defense, and some picking the Rams. It's like someone ran a model and it's like According to our model, the uh, Rams have a 51% chance of winning and the Niners have a 49. Like, <sighs> that's too close. Of course, I always argue that when they do those. Like, the Chiefs have a 63% chance of, of winning. I'm like, no, I would argue that they have a 50 50 shot until the game starts. And then, then you can change your percentages as scoring and time goes on. But yes, 63%. I mean, I get like you're, you're going to favor them, but they, the way they phrase it, it's a, 63% chance mm. of winning. I'm like, mm, I would argue that phrasing is incorrect. I see sense. what you're saying. Yeah. They did that for baseball, which I thought was kind of cool, like by inning the team's likelihood of winning. And then if, you know, if the, if the Braves had a big inning, their, their percentage of winning would like shoot up to like 80 and then it would go, it would fluctuate throughout yeah, the game. Inning. I thought that was pretty a cool, like, I think they, they, they start to do that. I mean, I've seen that with the football team. Like, oh, and then it spikes up, you know? Oh yeah. Yeah. But, Okay. But, uh, oh, we'll see. Oh, I guess uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Horns up, and then next week you can count on our prop bets, our annual Super Bowl preview show. On the yep, the show. Super Bowl will be the thirteenth this year. Okay. Do they take? Uh, they take a couple weeks off. Then uh, yeah. So take, it'll be and then the a Pro week Bowl off, happens. Yeah. Pro Bowl happens in between, but I don't know. The last <laughs> time I watched that shit. 
I mean, the, like, not like the Rams are going to send anybody that oh, could possibly oh. get injured before the fucking. No, Super Bowl. no, no, no. <laughs> it's in Miami or Hawaii or something, right? No, it's, yeah, I think it's in Miami or Tampa Bay or some shit. Okay. Yes. No, they used to do it in Hawaii, but they don't do it anymore. It was like, why bother? I mean, that was like the perk of being selected to the, to the Pro Bowl. You get to go to Hawaii. And, and yeah. Now, you know. I mean, no, I get to go to Tampa Bay. Fuck that. Whatever. Or Miami or yeah. whatever the hell they're going. What do you think Antonio Brown is? Do you think he's uh, he's happy about the Bucks? Uh, he uh, tweeted out. He tweeted out a, a meme. Oh, a meme. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Bucks eliminated with him shirtless running off the field. Fucking a man, this guy. I, I, think certainly... he said he, I think he said he wanted to go to the Ravens next year. Oh, just throwing it out there. I mean, the Ravens have had their history dealing with, um, you know, Ray Lewis had had some heat on him for a little bit with the whole murder. Yeah, a little run on. Yeah, a little, a little run in. And then, um, who? What team? What? Who was Ray, what was Ray Rice? No, Ray Rice was the yeah the the, the girlfriend. elevator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the ring back, yep. But Ray Lewis, he had he was in a bit of trouble when he was on the Ravens. I think he got no? cleared on the charges, but yeah, okay. He but yeah, he was somebody. there was some controversy to say the yeah. least. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they could. But yeah, oh, they couldn't ID him. Yes. They couldn't ID him, which is like it's just kind of weird. It's one of those. He's he's fucking huge, so you couldn't see this huge guy. Can't <laughs> ID a giant two hundred and eighty pound six foot six man. It was hard for you to get eyes on. <laughs> and he Hold had on, a no, Ravens buddy. jersey on. <laughs> he's not the pass. It's practice duty. <laughs> he's in pass. <laughs> Although I wouldn't. Uh, uh, I don't know if I'd be snitching on him either. No. You see something? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't sure. know what I saw. It was oh, dark. Did you just get season tickets to the Ravens? <laughs> yeah, I just they showed up in my in my, in my, in my house. Bunch of new jerseys for the whole family. A couple hats. Yeah, was, are those autographed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really went out. Really went all out. <laughs> Thanks for keeping it real. Love Ray. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> Wait, what does that say? Snitches get stitches. Signed Ray Lewis? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> that must be an imposter. <laughs> autographed eight by ten. Just gives it to you. Anyway, we've we've done it again, Cerny. Heavy football content lately, but hey, it's what it's what we're it's into. It's what's this happening. Is- this is the playoffs. This is <sighs> I'm the nerves. I it's already happening for me. I'm I'm going horns up, ramily. Make sure you're uh you're you're all vaxxed up and boosted for uh, for the big check game. and check. Yep. Yep. Horns up, check, ramily, check, check, Vax, check, 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 booster, check. Okay, we're good. Genital scrubbed clean, spotless, check, check, check. check. Always, check. always. Every witch hole, every orifice, clean as a whistle. <laughs> and until next time, I'm Chip. I'm sorry. Cheers.